What's up guys, Ivan Carranza here and welcome to Bass Tone Tuesday. Lately, I've been listening to a lot of Deep Purple, especially the albums Burn, Stormbringer and Come Taste the Band. And in those three albums, the bass player was Glenn Hughes and he has a massive bass tone and I wanted to try to replicate his tone. And I've been listening to some live recordings as well as listening to isolated bass tracks and you'd be surprised by how distorted his bass tone is in those recordings. Richie Blackmore's guitar sounds pretty thin compared to what Glenn Hughes brings to the table. So to try to mimic his tone to get close to that classic aggressive rock tone, we're gonna use the GNL Fullerton Deluxe LB100 bass. We have to play with a pick because Glenn Hughes plays with a pick. And we're gonna be using the Tech 21 YYZ Getty Lee pedal and the Knox Studio Mini cap simulator. I've hooked it up so that it goes the bass into the YYZ, into the um, mini studio, into my Noble because my Noble DI is powering both pedals but there's no EQ happening with the Noble DI so everything EQ wise is happening on the YYZ. So let me show you how the bass sounds on its own first. This is the tone, you know, volume fully up and tone control fully up as well. As of course with the fingers, now with the pick. That will be it. Now, I know we need some drive, right? And because of that, we're gonna be using the Getty Lee YYC. And this is how it sounds like if I just turn everything with, you know, set up pretty much 12 o'clock. You know, I lose some volume because the master is turned down quite a bit to the left because I know we have to, do, to crank some more drive. So, Boost some drive. And now it's. It's getting closer there. It's pretty, pretty dark still. And you can see. There's the breakout definitely in there. But we need to get it to, to sound more edgy. So I'm gonna boost the mid control here. less like there that's getting closer I'm gonna boost some highs That's definitely better. And you might think that it's a bit thin compared to... It's not that full on the bottom end. That is when the cap simulation kicks in, as well as to tame some of the those upper frequencies, even though the YYZ is pretty good at that already, but if I turn this on... You get some more, more beefiness in the low end compared to... 
right? And here I'm using a cap simulation of an SBT 8x10 cabinet. Let me show you how it sounds. This is an Aguilar 8x10. Which also sounds great. It's got a really nice mid-range character. This is the SBT. But the SBT has the fullness down below and we still have some pretty good mid-range content so that's why I want to go with that especially because you know back in, the, in those days I think it was the 70s or something um, you know that kind of cabinet was pretty popular so that's what I went with the SVT 8x10 and if you want some more low end um, you could for example just turn the mix control a bit more to the left But to me, like having it in the middle or slightly to the right, that's definitely pretty, pretty gnarly. And like I mentioned, you'd be surprised at how distorted the sound is in those recordings. So that's pretty much all I would do here on the tone. And just for reference, the tight switch is off. It's not engaged. Because that saturates also more of the low end. And back then, you know, they had like tube amps or I mean, tube amps were what was available only at the time. So they would like saturate the whole frequency. And this, you know, having the tight switch off makes it sound more like a vintage valve tube amp and a big part of the bite and the aggression is coming from the pick plane and I'm not really picking that hard either let me demonstrate real quick I'm gonna pick like I'm gonna increase the velocity of the attack here and right by the end I'm picking like very softly, I don't even really need to hammer the strings to get a sound that cuts through. Right, so you don't really need to like smash the strings all the time to, to have an aggressive tone. And what we did basically was, you know, we boosted some drive to that crunch tone happening. And here on the YYZ, the mid control is kind of like a second drive knob <laughs> like that's how I see it if I want more bite you know I boost that mid control because if I put it in the middle like it was at the beginning it sounds like this which is kind of dark if I go you know it gives me more uh, that's what we're looking for to you know be there with the guitars and you cut through a dense mix I'm boosting some treble just to give it some more clarity Right? It's not like, uh, it's not unpl unpleasant, it sounds very moderate. So it's very useful. And the capsim is there to tame off some of that harsh uh, top end and also to tighten the bottom end and also give it a more consistent tone because without it, pretty open right it's like not it's not focused once you put it in you can hear the punch of the bass coming through with the caps in so that's gonna be it for today i hope you guys liked the video if you like the video give it a thumbs up let me know in the comments which is your favorite classic rock record and also don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay up to date with the content that's coming to the channel Thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Take care.